Hello, the North American Martial Arts family. Mr. Jones here with Mr. Brunning shooting your class 11 video. We're going to get our warm up going. Uh, kids, clear out the floor and get ready to go. Here we go. Should be position, tension, and balance. Okay, guys, Mr. Brunning is going to take us through some regular jumping jacks. He is going to do 10 of them. Uh, students at home, feel free to do more if you guys want 10 regular jumping jacks. Ready to go. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. All right, guys, now he's going to do what we call power jacks. These are a lot of fun, more difficult, and they're a really good workout. Let's demonstrate one first. So, parents, what it's going to be is he's going to hop, bring his arms out and his feet out fast, and try to land back in the same position. So one would look like this. Whoop. All right, they go fast. One more demo second. There's the power jack. Parents, he's going to do five of them. Here we go. Ready to go. One, two, three, four, five. All right, students, so we really want to explode out and then bring those arms down out. Okay? I'll go ahead and pause the video if you guys want to do a few more sets of those. Okay. Couple stretches. Okay, guys, we're back. Let's do some stretching. Take those feet out wide, hands on the hips. We're going to do our half split, leaning out to one side. Three, two, and one. Other side, same thing. Make sure on this one, guys, we bend this knee out nice and far, but we want to keep this foot flat. If this foot's popping up, that means we're leaning too much. Three, two, one. Okay, guys, let's go ahead and go down for the Spider-Man stretch. Spider-Man stretch. Take it down. Students, if you want to add to it, arms wide, head to the knee, or head to the floor, rather. You can also sit back and try to balance in position. Let's switch to the side. Same thing. Hands wide, head to the floor. Sitting back and balancing. One more, students. Let's do the butterfly stretch. Here we go. Pushing those knees down. Make sure your feet are in close to your body. And bounce. Pull those feet in one more time, press down, and bounce. Okay, students, that is your warm-up. Go ahead and pause the video if you guys need to do some additional exercises or stretching. Okay, guys, we are back. We're going to be doing a drill called eight blocks. Let's try it together, all right? Get your fighting stance. Let's go right foot in front of us, running so that way they can follow along with us. Okay, students, don't follow along with us. We're going to do eight different types of blocks. And then I'm going to show you uh, how you can do them with a partner. So parents are going to need to grab your blocker or pull, pull another one, get it ready so you can do some blocks, okay? So guys, block one is we're going to do what we call telephone blocks. So we're just going to turn the head a little bit and cover it, just like this. Elbow close to the head. Telephone block one. Other side, telephone block two. Okay? Next block is going to be like an outside block one. Off to the side a little bit, outside block two. All right, then we're going to do a low block, one, low block, two. Now we're going to do a leg block, so we're going to lift that knee up, point it outward just a little bit, toe pointing down using the shin, block one, block two. Let's do those one more time, follow along. Ready, telephone block one, telephone block two, outside block one, outside block two, all right, low block one, low block two and leg block one and leg block two. Okay guys, here's what it looks like with a blocker. And parents, don't forget a pillow will work fine. Uh, parents, if they're beginners, you're gonna wanna start this slow. If they're more advanced, you can, you can speed it up, go fast and have some fun. So it look like this goes, uh, he's gonna do telephone block, telephone block, outside block, outside block, low block, low block, leg block, leg block. And when I'm swinging this, parents, I'm starting high and kind of just working my way down my lowest two. The leg block should be my lowest two swings. Let's do it one more time, a little bit faster. Here we go. Ready? Telephone block. Oh, let's try that again on this. Ready? Telephone block. Telephone block. Outside block. Outside block. Low block. Low block. Leg block. Leg block. Let's got them there. Okay, parents, so obviously the faster you go, the, the more difficult it is. 
Um, the drill is a little bit easier. Uh, parents, if you say the moves out loud like I was doing, so telephone block, telephone block, and so on. But if you want to make it a little bit more challenging, you can not say the blocks and you can just uh, swing. Parents, I recommend you do these in the order that I did them. Okay, starting high and working low down the body. If they get that down really, really good, you guys could uh, you guys could look to switch it up and do different ones. It does get a little bit confusing and a little bit tricky if you start to switch it up. So definitely start in order and take it from there. Go ahead, pause the video and try the eight blocks drill. Okay, guys, we're back. We're gonna do some kick game. We're gonna start. Uh, uh, we're going to do some double, triple, and even four kicks. So this is going to be for more advanced students. However, beginner level students, you're welcome to try with us. Mr. Brunning's in this fighting stance. His first kick is a double round. He's just going to pump it. He's going to lift his leg, pump out two roundhouse kicks, keeping his chamber up. Let's do it, sir. One, two. Okay, so just a basic pump, double round against it. One, two. Okay, now he's going to demo a hook double round. So he's going to do a hook kick. And then the double round after. Let's do that again, sir. Keeping his chamber nice and high. One, one, two. All right, awesome. Now he's going to do last one hook, side, pump, double round. Here we go. Ready? Hook, side, double round. Awesome. Let's do that one more time. Ready? Go. Hook, side, double round. Okay, now, uh, students, obviously, balance comes into play on this. The trick here, guys, is keeping your chamber high, okay, students? If we're doing our hook kick, and then we bring our chamber way down, and then we do our side, bring it way down, it takes a lot longer and kind of uh, defeats the, the point of the drill. So try to keep that chamber high. Uh, parents, students, if you're having a hard time with the balance, use that chair, or parents, you know, you hold their hand and help them balance a little bit. But that's what we're looking for, double round, Hook double round, hook side double round. Students, pause the video. I want you to do each of those about five times, uh, five times on each left. Okay. Okay, students. We are back for some kicking tips. We're going to work on a low, high side kick and round kick. So, students, this is good for sparring or just good to practice your kicking height and your balance and your technique. Okay. So we're going to be in a fighting stance now, Mr. Bruning. I'm going to have him kick off to the side so you guys can get a side view. I'm going to kick towards the camera here. So what we're going to be doing, students, is we're going to be doing a low side kick, rechambering it, and a high side kick, keeping the foot up in the air. We're going to do a slow one first. Here we go. Ready? Low side, rechamber, high side. Now, students, the high side is as high as you can kick. If that's only belt high, that's fine. If that's shoulder or head high, that's cool too. Let's do another one. So we're ready. Low, high. All right, students, make sure you have a target. You're looking at a low target, looking at a high target, okay? Um, other leg would look like this, ready? And go, low, high. And again, ready, go, low, high. Okay, let's switch back. So this time, students, I want you to do it faster, okay? So we're gonna go low, high. We're gonna try to snap them out fast. So this is gonna be maybe for a little bit more advanced students, but beginners, you're welcome to try it. Here we go, ready, and go. Ha. Snap them out fast. Again, go. Ha. Building up that speed. Other leg. Ready to go. Ha. And go. Ha. Okay. And roundhouse kick is next. Here's where we look like the round on the roundhouse kick, guys. So slow first when you're running. So low. High. Good job. One more slow on that right leg. Low. High. Okay, guys, switch legs. Slow first. Ready? Go. Low. High. All right. And again, ready? Go. Low. High. Okay, guys, back to the first side, snapping it out strong. Low, high. Nice and fast. Ready? Go. One, two. All right, let's do it again. Got to be faster than us. Ready? Go. One, two. Other side. Ready? Fast. Go. One, two. And again, ready, go. One, two. All right, guys. So, uh, students, if you are a, a Masters Club student who does sparring, this is a really good drill for you to develop low high kicks, which are great for sparring because you can fake your low kick and then throw in your high kick. If you're a beginner level student, this is just a good way for you to practice your side roundhouse kicks and just get them down a little bit better. Okay, guys, so pause the video and do a couple more sets of those. For this next section, we're going to be doing some bow steps. So grab your bow step, make sure you have a lot of room around you, you're not going to hit anything. We're going to run through some neck spins. I'm going to walk you through them. So we've got our bow. We're going to grab it in our strong hand. That's going to be my 
or actually even grabbing your opposite hand. It doesn't really matter whatever side you prefer spinning on. I like my left hand to start. I'm going to put it behind my neck. There's more bow stack to the side that I have my hand on. So it's not equal. The middle's not right in my middle. It's all to the side just a little bit. Grabbing right here, move the ball to the side. This is called the fake neck spin, because we don't spin it all the way around the neck. What I'm going to do is I'm going to push it around my neck just like this. I'm going to let it spin. I'm going to bring out my other hand. I'm going to grab it right here. Faster, it's going to look like this. Pushing across, grab. A common mistake students make is they grab too early. They just grab it right here. You need to make sure that side of the bow goes all the way past, then you can grab it. You have to have one side of your bow pass you first. This is the fake neck spin. Grab it off to one side, push, grab. From the other side, you can go backwards. Push, grab. You can keep alternating back and forth once you've got it down. Practice that a little bit. Remember, off to the side, push it across, let one side spin, grab. The next Next spin is the half neck spin. We're going to grab it a little bit different for this one. You're going to grab it just like this, a little bit off from the middle. The middle's right here. Grab it right by here, just like this, holding it right here. Now, we are going to spin it up just like this, across our neck to the opposite side. You can lean forward just a little bit. It helps to have the bow spin around and not drop on the floor. Push it up just like this. It's going to go behind your neck, you're going to let go of it, it's going to spin around and you're going to use your other hand to grab it. So a little bit slower, spinning it around, I'm going to let go right here, it's going to fall, and I'm going to try and grab it with the other hand. It's hard to do it slow, so you have to speed it up just a little bit, use that momentum. Spin, grab, just like that with the opposite hand. One more time, spin, grab, and then you can go back if you're really good at this. Just like that. One, two. The last one, the full neck spin. This one's really hard, so make sure if you haven't mastered the other two, don't try this one yet. And you need a lot of room because you might drop it. You might even want to go outside if you can. Put it behind your neck just like we did for the fake neck spin. This time, we're going to push it in the same way we did before, but instead of grabbing it right here, we're going to let it spin all the way around and grab it on the opposite side, just like that. Grabbing it here one more time, we push it, grab, reach that hand across and grab it on this side instead of grabbing it here. You reach your hand all the way across and let it spin all the way around your neck. This one's a little bit more tricky. Push, grab. One more time, push, grab. For this one, I want you just to stick with your strong side. Don't try and go back and forth yet because this one is prone to dropping and you might break something. So the three variations, we have the fake, just like this, the half, and the full. Practice those a little bit, master them, and then you move on. Okay, students, that concludes our class for today. Awesome job. Be sure to go back and rewatch any part of the video if needed. Let's go ahead and go to chumbi position. Do a tension and bounce and finish. Awesome job today, students, and we will see you on your next class. Thank you for watching.